We are back with another video, this time from The Godfather. Let's get to it. Why not? The guys are very specific and picky, so why can't women be specific and picky? What does your father say about that? Nothing. I haven't really asked that. I never talked to him about this. Uh-huh. I know she's in New York. She got the New York accent. You were raised by your dad. You have any brothers? Yeah, I have four brothers. He raised you guys to be the same. He raised y'all to be exactly the same. He raised two of us. He raised only just... No, I mean, you, he brother. raised you and your brother. You and your yeah. brother played football. He raised y'all the same. No. 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 He could so do... Ladies, he was able to tell, do more. So when ladies like yourself come in saying, well, why can't we? Men do. Uh, we're men. You're not. It's a double standard. You're right. We wasn't raised the same. He was able to do more, and I couldn't. I couldn't do certain things. Okay. But what does that um, have to do with me, with women being, wanting, wanting certain things from a man and being picky? I, I don't I don't like to use that term picky, but... It's you can picky. want whatever you want, but the question always comes down with women, are you hot enough to get it? Well, I look a mess now, but I think I am. Okay. How old are you? No makeup. I'm, I think I'm doing okay. How old are you? 32. Any children? One son. Were you married to his father? Did I marry his father? Uh-huh. No, we're not together. I left him. I was 20 when I had my son. So you think that a 32-year-old mother of a 12-year-old can get out here and be picky when it comes to men? Yeah, because it's hard to love a man, and I have to deal with a lot. Men put you through a lot, so I figure if I'm gonna choose, I want to choose right. Mm. I just don't want to choose anything. Okay, how I tall are you? How tall are you? Five two. Dress size. Um, a eight. <laughs> How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? One forty six. No. 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 That's too big. Uh, if you're actually five two and a dress size eight, uh, a dress size four. One fifty is not a lot of weight, but five two, you a shorty. But okay, why do you think you can be picky? You're thirty two, which is um, not twenty two. You're not a young thing. You're you're a middle aged woman when it comes to marriage. You're an older woman when it comes to marriage. When you're approaching middle age, okay? Mm-hmm. Would, would you agree or disagree? Middle age is kind of... I said you're I approaching I'm you're, definitely... you're, you're approaching middle age. Okay. Yeah, because I'm definitely older. I know that. I know I'm not a young girl right. anymore. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the average uh, age of death for women? It's around 76. 76, okay. 78. So middle age would be 39 or 30 or 76, it'll be 30. You're approaching middle age. But what we do know is you're not in your youth, okay? Mm -hmm. And as far as marriage goes, you're definitely an older woman for marriage. Marriage is a younger woman's game. That's women getting married at 22. 23, 24, 25. The median age where women actually sign the certificate is 27.8. That didn't mean they got started dating right there. And you're five years past that, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Then we have to factor in the fact that you have a child, which significantly impacts your overall sexual marketplace value. A 12-year-old boy. 13. 13. That lowers your value as well. And then debate, and then and then it starts in there. Why you why you and his father didn't marry? Why y'all aren't together? All kind of things, ma'am. And you say men put you through a lot. No, that's not. You can't ex, you can't expect us as men out here in the public to pay for your bad decisions and bad choices in men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You have a son. Would you have a son? Would you want a would you want him to deal with a woman who expected your son 
to pay for all the bad choices men she chose? No. Well, we're somebody's son. One thing I'll at least give these women is the ones who are honest. When Mr. Samuels asked that question, and they're honest, and they're honest the first time. Because we've seen it on multiple occasions where he asked women this question. Well, would you want your son to deal with the woman in your exact same position? And a lot of them will lie. Either throw their, their son or their close family member under the bus. But why do you feel like you, you he'll be paying for the bad choices? Because you why said you men put you through a lot. Uh, these The men out here in the world, you don't know them. But when I say that, it's because I'm going off my experience. So I know what Exactly. Your from. experience. <laughs> your experience. That's a man you dealt with. I'm talking about the men in front of you. You have no experience with them. So you want to be picky with these men because the men you've experienced put you through a lot. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. But they're usually all the same. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> she just discarded what Mr. Samuel said <laughs> five seconds before. So you maybe the ones you date are. Maybe. There's not many options. That's another thing. Oh, there are plenty of options. I think she in New York. 51% of black men are single and childless. See what they're not. But a lot of them are ugly. Oh, oh, no, no, no. First off, check that. Because you start that shit, I'm going to get real raw with you. I'm going to get real raw with you. Check that shit. Because I have not made any any presumptions about looks or anything with you, so I'm not going to insult men. I forgot she went into the whole looks thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> Lack you of self-awareness. I look a mess now, but I don't think I have to settle with a man that I don't find Okay, handsome. let's do it. What would you rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? Mr. Samuels tried to give her an out. She wasn't picking up what he was putting down. Just your face. You cannot use seven. A 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> now let's try this again. So I'm not you are not the most beautiful woman in the world. Cosmopolitan ain't trying to get you to be on the cover. People ain't de deemed you one of the most beautiful women in the world. So let's go. So ahead. what would you rate me? Uh, uh I asked you since you want to bring looks about men into it. I'm asking you. Exactly. What would you rate yourself? And the first thing out of your mouth was a lie. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't nobody's ten. You ain't nobody's ten. What you said? You first thing you came out of your mouth, you said you're a ten, and you're not a ten. My face is not a 10? No. I don't have no makeup on. And my hair is not done. And this is all real hair. I know. We can tell. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you the hair. So, all right. I think I'm definitely a 10. Cool. I bet you do. All right. Pause for the calls here. Look at this woman right here. And here's what I'll say to her. She's an average looking woman. Nothing more. Nothing less. She's not below average. She's not above average. She's an average looking woman. I'll give her this. She has a head full of natural hair. Random fact about Theo Coop. I hate weave queens. If you a weaved out woman, phew, I am not a fan of yours. <laughs> I hope none of y'all are offended by that because I'm not changing my stance on these weave queens. But we're not talking about that right now. She's an average looking woman. And there's nothing wrong with being average. But ma'am, you are nobody's dime. So when, when was the last time you did any, any runway model like a print model? I've never been involved in that. I wonder why. Why not? Tens, that's what tens do. Not all tens. Oh, yeah. Not all tens, but you know what? You live in New York, right? Mm-hmm. Right. See, when you're a 10, people discover you at the bank, at the bodega, at the gym. That happened when I was younger. My yeah, father yeah. Okay, we're going to keep on moving. You're not a 10. You're living in, and, and a lot of you ladies just say this shit because. <laughs> I'm not a like, You're not. I think a lot of women say it. She actually sounded like she believed. A lot of them said, yeah, you cap. Yeah, you're lying. You're just saying that you're trying to save face or boost your ego or whatever. Nobody believes you, lady. But I actually believe this woman truly believes she's a 10. You're not a 10. What would you rate me as? My face. I'm not going to, no, no, you're not a 10. Because you're rating yourself up there with Rihanna and Halle Berry when she was young. That's what you're rating yourself. Up there with Diane Carroll. You That's what you're rating yourself. What you mean, Halle Berry? So, like, yeah, with Halle Berry in the 90s. Charlize Theron, Diane Carroll, you're ranking yourself up there with the Rihannas of the world. That's where you're ranking yourself. You seen Rihanna without no makeup, right? I see you. <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs>
If you want to learn how to improve your argument skills and debate tactics, you can learn so much watching Mr. Samuels. Okay, See, this is, so, I mean, you're this not is part of the issue. That's your, that's the part of the issue is they, women like yourself have all this attitude thinking you that you're way up here. Undeserved arrogance. Here to where you're going to judge me and then saying men are this or that. Men are no men are 51% of black men are single and childless, 64% in the middle class. It is harder for a black man to find a woman that's working with no children than it is for a black woman to find a black man that's working with no kids. Most of you come with somebody's kid attached to you. And then you got the nerve to walk around when you're unfit, overweight, out of shape, and looking average, cute, or whatever, thinking your way up here, judging men who have more to offer than you do, and have the nerve to talk about your picky. Uh, but shouldn't well? I be attracted to him? Even if you don't feel like I'm a 10, shouldn't I be attracted to my men physically? No. Why can't I be attracted to him? Why, why is something wrong? Well, here's the thing. Things? You keep asking me. You, why, here's the thing. This is why you ladies got it confused. That's why y'all end up dying alone. Because you've been told you can have it all. You cannot have it all. Men aren't supposed to be the attractive ones. You are. Mm -hmm. Men are supposed to be the providers, protectors, prophet, priests. That's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to be the cute one of the group. You are. You're supposed to be the feminine, beautiful, inspirational one, the cooperative one, the submissive one. That's what you're supposed to be. But yet, many of you ladies want men to be women, and it don't work. And, and I'm talking to a woman who's already got a child from another man. And you're being talking about being picky. I wonder if the wheels are spinning upstairs. You know, are you that's just, that goes by natural. That's natural for me. I've yeah. tried to settle for a man that wasn't. Oh, settle, oh, settle, settle. Did you go to college? Yeah, I have my master's degree. Okay. I'm a PhD. Let me explain something to you. Uh, you don't need to settle for a man who's uh, an average man or better. I don't know why you have to keep somebody settled. Somebody will settle for you. Just because you have a master's doesn't improve your sexual marketplace value. You can no, make three hundred thousand dollars a year. About my education. That's why I brought it up. No, no. I mean, uh, no, and that's cool. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't increase your overall appeal to a man. You could have a master's, a GED. It's all the same when it comes to men initially. And we talk about you come in here saying something about I tried to settle for this, and the men are ugly. I'm like, well. <laughs> How old are you? 32? 33. 33. How'd you get to be so bitter? I'm bitter? Uh, Why you, you don't sound, uh, you sound like you don't. Well, how do you think you're speaking about men? Well, all I said is that I want to be a physically attracted to him and you. Down my no, 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 no. You said, I, you not no, you said, you said that there are not a lot of men out here. No, you said that there are not a lot of men out here. That's mm -hmm. what you said. They so not. How, okay, so how is that speaking about men? Is that a positive or a negative? It's not, it's not negative. That yeah, not okay, hold on, hold on. Use your masters. Let's do some logic. There are not a lot of men out here, which amount, which means that there's a deficit mean that there's not enough, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a positive thing or a negative thing? That's a negative thing. Then you're speaking men, you're speaking about men in a negative way. As it if there's not, not a lot of uh, No, there are plenty of options. The thing is, you just might not qualify for that. <laughs> bang! Bang! It's good! And I think that's very much true, man. A lot of these women, they'll say that you know, there aren't any good men or men are trash and things like that. And it's really as simple as those are the men that you are finding. Those are the men that you are dating. And if your dating pool is only full of these piss poor men, then that tells you you're on the lower end of the dating pool. You step your game up. If you're a woman and you're overweight, that's something you need to work on. If you're a man and you broke, get your bread up. You live in. New, you talk about New York City. I lived in New York City. I walk. I'm, I'm possibly moving back there. And New York City has a, a tremendous amount of eligible men. 
but because you can't get one doesn't mean they don't exist exactly you mean that i don't want to settle for one no no the men that you seem to look around and see in your eyesight seem to be beneath your expectations but you cannot tell me that that's all that's in new york city because i know for a fact i was just there last month there are plenty of well-to-do attractive successful men in new york and what are they trying to date you exactly i don't see them i don't be around what, what exactly well i'm working that's another thing i don't meet men like that where do, what borough do you work in i work in manhattan well harlem in, in, so in the largest city in the United States. Exactly. Before Corona, like, listen, be like, listen. And I think Harlem is like the black borough too, if I'm not mistaken. No, don't let, no, 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 no. Before Corona. She getting defensive because she know where Kev going with this. Coronavirus. New York freaking city, the largest city in the United States. And you're going to tell me that there are no successful, attractive, available, eligible men in New York City. You are out of your Most mind. Most of them are with somebody already. They want you to be like the second girl, like the side chick. Listen, like listen, listen, folks. Them. Listen. Or Pay close gay. attention. See, look, here, okay, here goes the, here's here, the waiting text. Here you go. I got, I got a new sound button for this. It ain't my fault. Oh, bullshit. Now we're going to get to subjective truth and my truth. Again, just like last night, I can't because I because I can't find them because I don't qualify for them. They're either gay, down low, or in jail. Instead of saying that, you know what? These guys exist. They just ain't trying to check for a 32-year-old mother of a 13-year-old. They can never fathom that. The thought that these men are they're, they're either there's either one or two options these men are out there and you just don't qualify for them or the men just don't exist because you can't find them so in in, in these women's mind by default the men just don't exist because there's no way impossible that they could actually use some work and need some self-improvement it's not possible who's a six maybe i'm not a six that's being yeah, nice you are <laughs> oh, okay I'm not gonna argue with you, it's not the point. And he was being generous. I'm gonna give this lady a four or five, and that's not me trying to be rude or mean to her. She's an okay, she's an average looking woman, and there's nothing wrong with being average. I'm not gonna take offense to it. I think this is Well, you can't really take offense to it, man, because here's the reality. Here's the thing. You live in this you live in a city where some of the most successful men on the planet are. Exactly. People are making millions of dollars a year. And if you're saying that they don't exist, it's that's just simply not true. Hold no, on, the men are hold on, hold on. They're just not approaching you. Exactly. They're not approaching you. Because, see, you're the same kind of woman that will turn around and say, well, yeah, but when you do find them, they're with a white woman. Or they were, they're with, uh, with a big beard white woman, why ain't they with you? I've never said that they're with a white woman. Usually the men I meet are usually, like, already involved with somebody or they're, like, bisexual on the low or something like that. So you would so so just every black man in this country is gay, man. Every single one of us, we all gay, bro. Even the straight ones. In that way, cause see, again, you're basically trying to make it the problem is the men. Again, audience, listen. It's all every the time men. She talks about men. It's never about her. It's well, he's involved, or if he's not involved, they're bisexual. They're trying to make it seem like the world is just full of just gay men, like there are no heterosexual, uh, attractive, available high value or productive compared to successful men you're out of your mind they exist they exist, yeah, I know they exist. Uh, I and then why if they exist then why aren't they checking for you well when do they see me every day they see you and see you and look past you <laughs> they see you when you leave your house not over here she don't get it she don't get it. Sad. Excuses. It ain't my fault. I'm talking to a woman who has a 12 year old. Yeah, this is somebody's mom. Apparently you saw one man enough. You saw, you saw a man enough to make a baby. In the last 13 years, you've seen other men. 
Nobody's put a ring on it. They wanted to. I didn't want to settle for them. I wasn't ready. Thing is, see, ready the thing is, what well, the difference is, the conversation I have with women is, I don't deal with men that have to be settled for. I deal with men that you got to qualify for. Can you get one of those men? I don't want to hear about the men that you... Huh? I don't think... I don't believe I can if my face is not a six. My face is a ten. She's still on that. Okay. I think... Right. Right. My my stomach could be a little flatter. Right. See, you talking... talking You talk you talk, you talk good, but I'm telling you that these men exist and you think you can. What do they want from a... What do they want in a woman? What do what do high value men want in a woman? I think they want a woman to be submissive. I'm not good at that. <laughs> there you go. And um, kind. Are you that? Mm-hmm. No. Child. Mm-hmm. No. Say yes or no. Yes. You're kind. I'm kind. You're not kind. Excuse me? I said you're not kind. Oh, trust me. I'm being very kind to you. He's extremely you kind. You have not been kind. <laughs> I've been direct with you, but, but okay. I'm being very kind to you. A lot of people take directness as rudeness. And that's something that's always rubbed me the wrong way because maybe I'm weird. I'm one of those people that love direct people because I'm a direct person. I hate when people beat around a bush and try to sugarcoat everything. No, just say exactly what it is. A lot of people like to live in delusion, so therefore it rubs them the wrong way. But this lady was not a 10. She's an average looking woman and there's nothing wrong with being average. I'm average. The vast majority of people watching this video are average and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think men know that, but it seems like some women, of course, I'm not saying all, a lot of women have a problem with the word average. But, but hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. After party in the comments, Theo Coop, do better, man. Get your shit together.